with all due respect to my colleague across the aisle, we do not put politics above people. My colleagues and I were out in our districts all during the August recess, and we listened to our constituents. We know what our constituents want. They want a different direction for this country than our friends across the aisle have been taking us along with this administration. It wasn't the Republicans that, that drove this country into the ditch. It was the Democrats. Through their spend, spend, spend program, debt, debt, debt program, the American people have awakened. They know what's going on, and they don't like it. We're going to do everything we can to stop this irresponsible behavior on the part of our colleagues. Mr. Speaker, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. Our colleagues have talked about every bill they brought up here in the last 18 months as being a jobs bill. But what they've done is spend, 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 and claiming they're creating jobs, but they have failed time after time. The results are clear. The Democrat elites have run out of ideas about how to get the economy moving in the right direction. The American people can't afford more of the ruling Democrats' failed policies. They want new ideas for getting our economy back in track, not the same warmed-over stimulus and bailout policies that have failed to do anything but create new taxes, record deficits, and high unemployment. Month after month, Americans have been asking, where are the jobs? The Democrats have been in total control of this country for almost two years. And what does President Obama offer? Nothing new, but promising that between now and November, he will, quote, remind the American people that policies he has put in place have, quote, moved us in the right direction. Well, good luck, Mr. President, on selling the American people that you've taken us from 5% unemployment to 10% unemployment, and you want to keep going in the same direction. Those who are unemployed aren't going to agree, and those who worried about being unemployed aren't going to agree with the President. The American people do not need more empty rhetoric and politically driven spin from the White House. They need real solutions. The only jobs this administration has created have been federal government jobs, adding to the overwhelming layers of bureaucracy that already exist at the federal level. From February 2009 to June 2010, 405,000 federal government jobs have been created. Since the so-called stimulus, American taxpayers have spent $44.9 billion on these new government workers' salaries. And yet we continue to see record high unemployment in the private sector. All this administration and the liberal elite ruling Democrats want to do is grow government, grow bureaucracy, and this is evidenced by their backward policies. As they try to sell their recovery summer, we know that more Americans are concerned about the state of the economic health. August 24, 2010, Reuters Ipso poll shows that the economy is a core concern for Americans, with almost three quarters, 72 percent of Americans, very concerned about jobs. It shows 62 percent of Americans now think the country is on the wrong track. It's clear that though President Obama believes he's sailing the ship in the right direction, the American people overwhelmingly disagree. Even though the results are in and it's clear the American people don't want these policies, our friends across the aisle keep trying to shove expensive, wasteful pieces of legislation down the taxpayer's throat. Mr. Speaker, the American people deserve better than this. I reserve the balance of my time.